Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Carlick from Figure It Out Productions. The following video is a video of some kind, and I hope you enjoy it. Hey everybody, it's Adam here. We're trying something different. It, today we're going to be playing a video game on a video game-based channel that's been around for 10 years. I know, it's a little weird. But, uh, we're going to be playing the ill-fated Flintstones Viva Rock Vegas. Why? Because I hate myself. Um, if you don't know, I'm going to give you the quick story here. So this game never came out for the Sega Dreamcast. There's only a white label version. It, Sega put it out. Never saw the light of day. Uh, they trusted their instincts, and they did not ultimately release this game. That was a wise move on their part. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know why I'm doing this. Music and sound. You know what? I was going to turn the music off in this game because I figured, hey, this has probably got, like, you know, some licensed Flintstones music. But listen to this crap. You recognize that? I don't recognize that shit at all. We're going to roll the dice and leave that on. Now, we have our options here. Mrs. Slag Hoople. Who looks like death. He just is, it's like his face dried up in the wash. Who the hell is Roxy? I'm gonna give a job to the guy who just escaped from the mental ward. Let's go with that. Three, two, one. Alright. Okay, I'm doing this. Let's do this. Turn okay. What the hell is going on? <laughs> what is this shit? Whoa, the frame rate. Do you see that? What is wow? Okay. Whoa, stop! I didn't boost. What the hell is that? What is... Okay, I see why this game never came out. Alright, so apparently you can't control the D-pad, which is a little counterintuitive in a racing game. And now I'm just, like, crushing everybody. Look at this shit. Oh, look, I'm going bowling. Running into houses. Oh, it's got a Mario Kart aspect to it. Okay, I guess. I don't know how to... How do I... Okay, no. Bad. How do you use the attack? Uh... Man, the control- wow, it just like randomly speeds up and slows down. I- Wait, did I- uh, Okay, so, what kind of racing game, like a kart racing game, doesn't really barricade like that? Do you see that? Like, usually they have like barricades to prevent you from being able to do what I accidentally just did. I have a hat. Great. Oh, no, it's not a hat, it's an oil slick. What do they need oil for? They use their feet to power the damn things. Actually, that's kind of sick because oil is usually derived from dinosaurs, and they love dinosaurs. They use them as pets and stuff, so they're basically making fuel out of their pets. You ever think about how fucked up that is? I, okay, please not the town again. Okay, I think, no, no. Turn, you dick stain. I, why is there bowling pins everywhere? You know what? I... I'm gonna actually have to call somebody at Sega and thank them for this not coming out. Are there even other racers? Like, I saw a couple, but, like, they just vanished. Oh, wow. Did you hey, fuck you! Get back here, you son of a bitch. You can't beat me, Betty. Remember Betty? That's a name. She's right there. Oh, fuck you. This town part, man. You have no idea, guys. You have no idea. What the That was something. So, wait. This isn't even, like... A tournament. It's just like, hey, play one of these, buy yourself a few minutes of quote unquote entertainment, and then you're done. All right, well, whatever. Screw it. Let's go to the next one. This is not a beta, guys. This is not a prototype. This was a finished game. It is done, but it was considered. Why did that happen? Why did that happen? I'm not, you know, I'm, dude, I'm gonna try and find positive things about this. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a note. From Shane Lewis, Rerez, my buddy, who's always trying to find the positive in terrible things. I mean... Okay, I just hit a wall. There, no, stop! What the hell are you doing?! <laughs> the second I try to give this game a break. Look at that. Look! Fuck you! Ugh. Yeah, fine, give me the... Why would an oil slick help me right now? Again, Mario Kart logic. You're supposed to give the person in last... What the fuck?! Why did it deviate to the left?! I'm starting to lose it, guys. And I don't mean just the game. I don't, I don't really care if I lose the game. I'm more like losing my sanity here. This is like too much color and too much inconsistency. Like, there's no... F there's no obvious, like, borders. There's no, like, logical way for the track to, like, end. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, alright. You're on the grass there, right? And the little road. Looks like a road, but then you go off onto the grass, but, like... You can kind of tell where the border is, but when you're playing it, it doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel like there's an edge. It's just really rubbery, and you fly off into the walls. 
And then, you know, God help you if you go into one of these little town bits. Like, where does that side of the street lead to? What the fuck's the point of that? No, not a town. See that guy? That was the end. That was the fucking computer going backwards. It's confused. It doesn't know what to do. How am I? How? What race? What? Oh, I guess so. The idea is we're in the we're doing this race in the middle of a really functional town, kind of like Toad's Turnpike, except stupid. You know, seriously, I've always had a beef with Toad and his Turnpike. Cause like, if you ever think about Mario Kart logic. Every character has their own, like, special level, right? Which means they probably had to submit one to, like, be eligible to, like, get into the tournament, like, if this was a real-world thing. They've all got their own, like, special place. Toad's Turnpike? He just found, like, a part of New Jersey and said, like, hey, yeah, sure, uh, this is mine. Never mind all the active freeway on there. I don't care if we get anybody killed. Fuck you, Toad. You're like, I have to play this entire thing with the joystick, and it's not... I guess I just shot a laser? You won a gem. There's my gem. I have no gems. I have a gem. What? So presumably something happens if you have three gems. Right? Are these like infinity stones? Like I just need all of them? And then Barney Rubble conquers the universe? Wow, look how different it is. It's some browns and some greens. What the hell kind of start screen was that? Did you see that shit? It just kept me inside of a first person view in my car. Wow! That wasn't even like a loading screen. That was, hey, by the way, the race started. Fuck you, we didn't show you. The frame rate is slowing down again. Which I don't understand why, because there's only four characters and nothing is happening on screen. Yeah, okay. You know, the thing is, they introduced the whole, like, Mario Kart weaponized type of aspect to it, which is kind of essential for a kart racer. What the shit?! Every time I try to talk about this game and say, like, something positive, it does this kind of crap. Where it's like, oh, don't say anything nice about us, otherwise we'll fuck you over. So all the only time I make progress in this game is if I just shit here, sit here and shit on this fucking tar turd of a game. Wow! Wow, I actually tried to defend you, and you attack me for it. That's... that's some shit. But now that I'm pissed off, I suddenly am in first place. You see that? Did you see that?! Fuck you, Barney. Oh wait, I am Barney. Fuck you, Fred. Go faster! Why did you jump?! Why did you jump? No one said jump. Is that even a mechanic in this game? And stopping again for no fuck. You just see how Barney like loses his mind. Look at that shit. His head just jerks back and he's just like, I don't even give a shit, man. I'm Barney fucking rubble. I'm played by Billy or Stephen Baldwin, who is potentially the worst of the Baldwins. I mean, this is the dude whose career highlight was he did a movie with Pauly Shore. That's his career highlight. Also, what's our motivation for doing these races? It feels like this... I don't I don't know why I'm doing this. And I don't mean just... I mean, I don't know why I'm doing this as a, as a YouTuber either. I mean, that's a huge... Sure, just stop in the middle of the road! Fuck it! We're not in a race or anything. I mean, within the character universe, why do our characters care about racing each other? I just... What, was this really the best idea for a game associated with this movie? I actually, I would be so pissed if I was the, uh... Oh, sure, just go off-road again. Actually, that was really helpful that time. You guys don't understand. It deviates me, like, almost automatically. It just, like, takes the controls. Yeah, it hit me with lightning. I was finally winning. Let's do that. Hey, you son of a bitch. I am so tired of living in your shadow, Fred. Fuck you. You get Wilma, all I got was Betty. Betty got fat. Wilma stayed hot. It was not cool. I mean, you look into their future, right? And I don't remember who plays uh, Wilma in, like, the Flintstones movie from 94. She was alright. You know, she's totally cool. It's a, it's a good, a very acceptable Wilma. Who is Betty? Rosie O'Donnell. I end up with Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah, more crashing in the walls. At least in something like... Like, car mechanics, like, in, like, terrible games like Ride to Hell or something, there's some sort of enemy attacking you, even if it's ridiculous. This is just... the car just stops in the middle of a fucking racing game. Put yourself in the context of uh, Mario Kart, because that's clearly what they were going for here. Put, put yourself into that and think, like, every level... The walls just attack you without attacking you. You just stop for no reason. And you can't really do anything. 
Like, I've, I've been collecting these stupid coins or whatever, and I'm trying to... Yeah, alright. Okay, cool. Did my... Oh, okay, I have had a power-up, I guess. I think that was a power... Oh, what the... Okay. Alright. I'm trying to do something with these coins. I have one blue bar. Now, you'll see that I've collected these coins from time to time, and I get really nothing from them. I have to assume the coins are tied to some sort of boosting system. Yeah, and, and sending you off the road for no reason. Um, and then, I think the bowling pins are basically the Mario Kart power-ups. Hey, we killed somebody. Alright, we're in second. Um, let's go? Alright, I press... Yeah, okay, we're going faster now. <gasps> I'm in first. I'm in first, you guys! I want that infinity stone. No! No! Get away from me, Fred, you son of a bitch. What is that? Oh shit, did I lap the rich asshole? I did. No! Fuck you! No, not the dreaded fucking uh, great wall of bullshit. No, 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 we're, we're losing it! Yeah, hopefully that hit Fred. I got the oil slick. I got the oil slick. No! No! No, 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 no! Don't, don't! Fuck you! No, Fred. No, Fred. Son of a bitch. Stay back there. This is this is Barney's time, goddammit. You got Wilma. I got Rosie O'Donnell. I need... I need this. No! Damn you! I need this. I... I sleep with Rosie O'Donnell. No! Please! God! Come back here! Back here! Fuck you, Fred! Fuck you! Damn it! Oh, look, I got a second stone. I did win a ruby, though. So... Life's okay. I guess we're going to Slag Hoople Challenge. So, I don't remember my, uh... Flintstones continuity too well, but I think the Slag Hooples are... Wilma's family. And they were like rich asshole. Hey, good. We're stuck in the water. All right. Look at this shit. Look at this. Okay, I guess I died. I can live with that. Ugh. It's actually somewhat advantageous for him to just put you back on the track because you're a lot faster that way. I I don't know when the last time I even got the bowling pins was. Like it's pretty rare. Like you basically that's another flaw. Not that there's there's plenty of flaws in this game. That's a huge mechanic flaw in this game, which is you only get access to the bowling pins if you're already winning for the most part. Because if you're stuck in last, they're not there. They haven't reset quickly enough. And there's only four cars. So like when you're in the back, you're just completely screwed. Like there's no chance. There's no blue shell of balance. What the shit was that? Are you serious right now? It just threw me down a mountain. And then it's forcing me to rescale said mountain all the way in last. So, appropriately, as I just said, I'm screwed if I get in last. And yes, here we are. In last and totally screwed. Because he does not have sharp turning. That's... That's just jingles. Although I did get that one. I'll give them credit for that, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I get the, And it shoots the bowling ball back. Oh, no, no, no. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Do something. Wow, that cartoony effect. And not in a good way. Because it also killed me in the process. And I get laughed with Alright, I'll use my weird boost thing. Oh, right into the rocks, of course. Uh, <laughs> why? You guys, help me. Just make it stop. <laughs> Oh, this is so bad. Why is this a thing? I mean, I guess technically it's not, but it is. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why am I going back up the mountain thing? It feels like... Hey, all right. Uh, what am I doing over here? What the hell is going on? Apparently... What? Why? Why did it automatically turn like that? You guys, I'm losing it. I think it's, like, over for me, like, mentally. I can't take this anymore. This is so awful. This is just so fucking awful. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I already pooped in there, and now I'm deviating off course again. 
Uh, I understand why theoretically putting rocks all over the place would be a nice challenge to avoid and I would totally be on board with this if the controls weren't awful. Like, you guys really... I can't say I recommend this game in any way, shape, or form, but I do recommend trying it just so you can understand what I'm dealing with right now. Because, like, it's just such rubbery terribleness. Like, ah, oh, why? <laughs> You, you probably think I sat there and like pressed left and just tried to drive into a mountain, but no. It'll surprise you to know that I was just going forward and it just does that shit. And somehow I've caught up to these idiots. And he does that crap again. Alright, I'm using my turbo thing which drives me off. You think I did that shit on purpose, everybody? You think I even could do that? That's just the fucking game being this game. Driving up straight on a tree. Why not? Fuck reality. I'm gonna be setting a horrible precedent here that these gameplay videos will be like just me playing terrible games each time. Here I was thinking like, hey, wouldn't it be kind of cool if I did a video on this like really rare, uncommon, strange, unique- Oh wait, no, I'm supposed to go left. Go left! Go left, damn it! I'm supposed to go left. This really strange, unique, stupid game that nobody really knows about. It's just got, a, got this bizarre story. Wow, do I regret these decisions. This is in, in no way, shape, or form fun. I wish it was. That'd be nice. Look! I only shot that dead on. Why wouldn't it hit him? Eh. Is that like the blue shell equivalency? Did that actually hit... Uh... What is that? Wilma's mom? <laughs> it's not possible to stay on the course! <laughs> You can't do it! Look at this crap! Go, you idiot! <laughs> when did this become a beach game? Okay, what? Go! <laughs> Fuck you! He can't go up the hill! He can't do it! Alright, fuck it, go into the water. Alright, and you put me all the way back. Thank you, that's just... Uh... And into the wall we go, because that's a tradition. Oh, a shield! That'll be really useful from all those attacks I'm never being hit by. It doesn't do anything! <laughs> what is the point? It's only to resist bowling balls. You know how many bowling balls I've been hit by in this game? Is it even one? No one has hit me with a bowling ball. At least I don't recall that being a thing. No! This was Barney's turn! Uh, yeah, I would lose it too, Barney. And I am losing it. This is just... unfucking believable Wait a minute. What the hell? Why am I in first? How'd that happen? Barney's turn now, bitch! No, not those rocks. I know how this goes. I've seen this movie. Oh, a shield. Great. An oil slick, I might have had a chance. No! No, don't do that! Why? Why would you random- No! No, the dreaded fucking water! Seriously? Seriously?! Kill him. Just die. Oh, yeah, that doesn't count. Why would it count? Fuck you up the ass, game. Yeah. Just- And it stopped him. It stopped him so he could see his own failure. Which I guess is my failure. Which is all of our failures, because humanity was responsible for creating Flintstones Viva Rock Vegas for the Sega Dreamcast. And I think today we all, as a species, owe each other a collective sigh and apology for the fact that we could bring about such tragedy into the world as the Flintstones Viva Rock Vegas racing horseshit game. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and hopefully I'll see you all later.